Uh, on January 1 of this year, Disney's copyright of Steamboat Willie has expired, and it appears Disney has not yet tried to block uh, the cartoon from entering the public domain. Uh, it's taken less than a day, though, for developers and movie makers to announce projects utilizing the early design of Mickey Mouse. Alex, what do you think of all of these things that are coming out from there? I know we've got some discussion on copyright versus trademark as well in this, but just now that you've seen the trailers and everything like that for the horror movies and the horror video games <laughs> featuring Mickey Mouse, what do you think? I am not surprised at all. Um, <laughs> I, I am 100% certain that these people already had this stuff locked like months ago and they were just waiting to see if the, the public domain stuff was going to going to go through if Disney was going to make a, a 11th hour push to hold on to the copyright. I don't think that Disney's just going to let this go quietly into the dark night. I think that if you get a little too shenanigans, they're going to come after you. But again, I'm not, not shocked at all. No, I don't think it's shocking when it kind of comes to it. I think the it's the closest thing that you'll ever be able to get to using Mickey Mouse's likeness uh, in something like that. Um, Disney has pivoted more to trademark mm -hmm. versus copyright because the law is pretty straightforward on what copyright does and does not do. And specifically with Steamboat Willie, they changed the trademark of Walt Disney Animation about two years ago two and a half years ago to a animated gif for lack of a better word of steamboat Willie in front of his little mm -hmm. dealy Bob. And that is the trademarked emblem for Walt Disney animation now. So they still have a level of control over that imagery. So anybody who thinks that Disney's going to let this one just go and they're going to be able to just willy nilly do anything. No, there's a very different meaning to it as well. So you can use the Steamboat Willie. Like if we put it in this video as you're watching it right now um, and we cut it in right here, Bonk. we can do that. And, and but we could Disney kind of before under fair use because we're talking yeah. about it. But Disney can't do anything about it. We could put it in its entirety. In fact, Disney even released it on YouTube for free in 2009. We though cannot say that is a Disney production nope. using the trademark from that. And that's the difference between the copyright and trademark sort of piece and, that they're working and with it. Again, this is where I think Disney's going to go after people. Anybody who builds something where they kind of obfuscate or aren't super clear that this does not have to do with Disney, I think Disney's going to come after them, right? Like, you better make this clear. We had nothing to do with this. This is why I think the horror ones are going to get away with it. Because Disney can tongue in cheek and go, mm -hmm. yeah. nope, not, had nothing to do with us. Never take it seriously that, that Disney made uh, Infestation Origins as a video game nope. and Mousetrap as a, no. as a, as and a again, horror movie. And, and I'm actually super tempted. You know what I'm super tempted to do? I'm tempted to build a Steamboat Willie Rav. Because <laughs> we can. You could. We could. It'd be weird, but yeah. But I mean, you know, you hey, Five Nights and Freddy's it if we, you wanted to. You know, you know, I think it would be a good addition to that. Uh, what's that? That uh, that theme park horror one you've got. <laughs> the Good Doctor available on Drive Through RPG and wherever good books are sold. Which, by the way, is now a copper bestseller on Drive Through RPG. It is. Um, but the uh, but I do think that that is that is the big sort of thing is that like we could go and sell steamboat Willie merchandise if we wanted to, so long as it's using the exact or a near enough replica of steamboat Willie, the non 3d version of Mickey mouse Yep. versus the current 3d trademarked version of Mickey mouse, which is a very different kind of, uh, uh, kind of thing. Um, and I think that's the biggest sort of piece about it. Uh, these two, these two things that are coming out, you know, uh, are very obviously like they're so over the top. It silly. was just the same thing that happened when Pooh came out. We got we got yeah. Pooh Blood and Honey last year. Pooh Blood and Honey came out like almost and, immediately, and, and Disney didn't do a thing about it. Well, and that one was th that was because it was the A. A. Milne one. And again, you just have to be careful about how you represent it. Yeah, right. And so again, I think people are going to do some stuff. I, you know, but it's not like Universal is going to come out. If you didn't see it, John Oliver did a thing a couple months ago where he made basically a Steamboat Willie suit and they had a guy in there being like, 
fuck you, Disney. Da, 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 da. On his show, and he was like, did Disney sue us? No. <laughs> so guess yeah. what? That's coming back. Um, again, I think it's going to be, if you're smart about it, I think you're going to be fine. I don't think Disney's going to come after you. No. But I do think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to try, and that is where we're going to get the weird trademark rules and rulings and stuff like that, because everybody likes to take a shot at the house of mouse, but... Uh, Frankly, it's they've got a lot of very expensive lawyers. <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but uh, you know, good good luck if you do. I for one uh, am uh, not going to see this horror movie, but I may try the game because it looks interesting to me. It does. Um, and somebody had a chart, and I'm trying to remember when the next Mickey Mouse hits public domain. It's in a few years. It's not long. I think it will be. I think it will be fun. I think there's going to be a lot of things that are come out. It's going to be very tongue in cheek for the next couple of years and stuff. Um, but I think that, you know, overall, I don't think Disney's in any major trouble or anything like that. And I don't no. think any of these people are going to be in any major trouble. So, no, it'll be it'll be fine. But it yeah. is fun because this is the first time one of these major ones in the modern era have really hit the public domain. So I think that's why everybody's paying. And it's the House of Mouse. So that's why everybody's paying such close attention to yeah. it. Disney's hot right now. Yeah. So. All right. Let us know what you think uh, down in the comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good. Uh, until we see you in the next video.